thought we would talk about doing a pretty basic plumbing job, which is to replace a toilet. Which is, I think, something most people would want to avoid. They don't want to work around the toilet. So we thought maybe it'll do a little toilet 101. Generally, you might be able to get away with only one tool, an adjustable open wrench or some sort of pliers to break the connection. Okay. So first step is to get the water out of the toilet. So on the left-hand side, either out of the floor or the wall, there's a cold water supply. You're going to turn the shutoff valve clockwise. Sometimes it's just a quarter of a turn. Other times you have to turn it multiple times till it's off. Mm -hmm. All right, good. Now we got to get the water out of the tank and bowl. Just take the cover off for me, okay? This is the tank. Yep. That's the bowl. Yep. Sometimes people get that confused. Right. So now we flush it. And the tank so is actually leave. draining into the bowl, right. bowl so, out. And you notice I'm holding this up. I want to get every bit of the water out of it that I can by gravity, but it's not going to let all of it out of the tank. There's always going to be some in the bottom. So for that, we got to work another way. We can either use a small cup or a sponge. And this is perfectly clean water. People should not be afraid of right. this. Now, if you do a lot of it, you actually use something like this, a turkey baster, which gets you right down to the bottom, okay. simplifies it. Make sure it's not the same turkey baster you use for Thanksgiving. Oh, <laughs> so, ruined Thanksgiving. Oh, not, <laughs> so, all, all right, right, so tank is done. We've got to do the same thing at the bowl here. Okay, here you go. Because <laughs> that. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> you want the gloves? <laughs> is kind of clean water. Okay. Okay. So now we've got the water out of the tank and the bowl. Now we have to break a few more connections. One of them is the water connection. You can break the cold water supply right here. Sometimes it's pretty hand tight. Okay. A little bit of water, not too much. All right, so now we have two more connections, the closet bolts, which hold the toilet down to the flange. Now this is a brass connection, and hopefully it will come. Another one over here? Yeah, once you get that one, thank you. Okay. Nut and washer off. Oh, great, okay. so now step right up here, and I'm gonna show you the proper way to lift. Hook your hands right here, be straight back and straight up so it comes off the bolts, and then just step it back onto plywood or newspaper because it's got wax, old wax on the bottom. No. All right. Oh, lovely. Isn't that nice? That's just wax, so don't don't be freaked out. So now, oh, here. Oh, now you get me, right? <laughs> so, okay. okay. So just clean it up. You could wear gloves if you're doing this at home. This one's a clean one, yeah. uh, just because we're demoing it. It normally would be. Just around there. Okay, there you go. All right, so this is our closet flange. And it's really important that this flange is, is whole like it is right here, and also it, that it's attached down into the building itself. So you see the stainless screws here, mm -hmm. here, here, and here, yeah. down into the meat of the subfloor below the tile. Okay, so that'll hold the flange to the building. And then the other part of the connection is to make sure the toilet is held to the flange. So it's flange of building, toilet to flange. Right, so they make a special bolt right here called a closet bolt. And you'll see that it keys right in, right here, and you bring it to the center point right here, and these, li these little plastic holders will hold it at the right position. Put that one in, okay? Got Key it. it in. Okay, so those bolts are in place right there. So now we've got the flange attached to the building, the bolt's ready to go. Let's get this out of the way. And now we need to make a water and airtight seal to the bottom of the toilet. So this is now replacing the, ra the wax that's ring? That's right. This has been the time-honored wax seal that sits right down here. Mm -hmm. This is one that I, I tend to favor, which is a little thicker, but also has a horn to direct the water down away from where that uh, top connection is. All right, so now let's put this back in position. This can be the hardest part of the show sometimes. Now push it down, wiggle, right, so wiggle, now push it's it down. Sitting on the ring, and I just kind of push your weight it. down, push your weight down, and it'll make that nice tight seal. So you can actually feel it. So we want to cover these bolts when we're done. So the manufacturer makes a bolt cap, and this is the base. So that goes on first. Then there's a bronze washer that's plated, and that goes right over the top. Okay. And once you put that nut on right there. We're going to tighten a little bit from each side and bring it down uniformly down onto that wax seal. We don't want to over tighten on one side and then crack the toilet potentially. Okay, one more snug. There. 
All right, so now they make these stand proud because I don't know how deep below it the flange will be. So look what happens, it's just too tall. So these bolts are made that you could snap them off. You see there's a little ridge right there. But this is the best way to get it off. And so you just cut. What you want to do is be careful not to let the blade, the hacksaw blade or this little jab saw, scratch the vitreous china. So this is a soft brass material, so I can actually just Okay, nice. so now pop the cap on, push it down, straight down from the top, and it should snap. There you go. Yep. All right, toilet secure. Now we can remake the water connection. Let's snug it up. Okay, let's turn it back on. Okay. There she is, fill it up. Why don't you grab the tank cover? Okay. All right, so this was important to know if you ever were changing out a new toilet for the old one or if you had a symptom of a leak from below the toilet mint and the wax seal was gone. Beautiful. Beautiful.